In this video, we will show you how to replace your vapor canister purge solenoid valve on the Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter engine. This will be located along the passenger side of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing you wanna do is make sure your engine's cool to the touch because we're going to work right along the top of it. Along the passenger side of your engine, you're going to find the vapor canister purge solenoid valve. This has a connector along the top that you're going to have to take hold of the locking tab, gently pull it away, and lift the connector up and off. A quick inspection for corrosion and set that aside. That one looks good. Now we can start disconnecting the EVAP line that leads to it. That has the green cover up along the top there. Looking at the connector, you can see that it does have a white locking tab. To disconnect this locking tab, you wanna press in along the side, press it towards the opposite side of the connector, and you should be able to slide this off. Squeezing along the side of the connector, I'll push that in, and then I can slide that out of place. A quick inspection to make sure it's not damaged in any way, and we can set that aside as well. Now we can move along to the mounting hardware that holds this down. Looking along the backside, you're going to find a 10 millimeter nut that holds a bracket down to the top of the mounting hardware that holds the solenoid down. Let's remove that nut first, remove the bracket, and then we can continue on with the hardware for the solenoid itself. With that mounting nut removed, take hold of the bracket, lift it up and off of there. Then we'll be continuing on with our 10 millimeter. Stay along the back side. Let's get this last one out of here. Let's take hold of the solenoid, give it a wiggle and lift it up and out of the vehicle. There it is, friend. With that out of place, the next thing that you need to do is clean and inspect the mounting point, especially the center port there where the sensing agent goes down and through. Be careful not to drop any debris inside the engine. Let's prepare for installation of our vapor canister purge solenoid valve. Looking along the bottom of this where the o-ring is, you'll find that I lubricated it with a thin amount of clean motor oil. That'll help it slide into place. Go ahead and take this and slide it down onto the engine, aligning your two mounting bolt holes. Then you can start in each of those two pieces of mounting hardware. Just give it a little wiggle. Double check to make sure it's completely seated up against the engine. We'll start in the mounting hardware by hand, snug it up, and then you can torque that to 106 inch pounds.
torque these to 106 inch pounds. Let's continue on to the bracket. We'll get that in place. Start on the mounting nut, snug it up, and you can torque that to 106 inch pounds as well. Get the evac line on here, press it in, listen for a click, and then you need to give it a tug. Make sure it's completely locked in. If this slides out of place, it's not completely locked, you need to continue pressing until you hear a click. Now it's time for the electrical connector. Go ahead and press that in, and again, we're listening for a click. Got a nice audible click from that. We'll give it a tug to make sure it's completely secure. Okay friend, we finished our installation. At this point, hop in the passenger compartment. Start up the vehicle, let it run for a little while. Make sure you have no check engine light, no running condition, and then take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.